Get jeans that fit, don't roll them up, you dickhead. Still on the fence about Jefferson. Parbury thinks he's just kind of a bit of a creep, but at the same time, he did the absolute right thing and was like, Victoria, what the fuck are you implying? Don't talk to me like that again. Which was good. Good on, good on Jefferson for that part, but I just, I think he's a pretentious dickhead. I really do. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. So, you don't hate me for what I said to the principal? Yeah, I totally just... I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. A she flirt. More teacher. Gross. <laughs> You're out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Who was Justin? Now, I feel like I'm just plan. totally glossing over who that was. Have I spoken to him at any point? Is there any evidence Let's I know who I this Justin guy is? Are you Justin? No, that guy was Justin. Who the fuck is this guy? So that guy's Justin. I'll leave that to... Can I talk to you? Zachary. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. Hey, is it so Brooke? Let's talk to Brooke. Lauren asked Max to the drive-in. Hey, Brooke. How are you? Uh... I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Sounds sincere. Are you okay? Uh, whales? I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I Magic. are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. Oh, he asked you? You know, science geeks stick together. Is that a thing? But honestly, neither of us can explain this phenomenon. It's pretty scary. Magic. Oh, was she flying that drone? Feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Do really? You... I can't. So fly she a drone wants. I'm going to see ape movies with Warren. You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. That's so ironic that Warren asked. Him. Talk to you later, Max. That's... Hang on. That's so ironic. What the fuck? So is she jealous that Warren asked me, not her? That's She's so, so got a thing Warren for Warren. Asked... Hey, bro. How are... I'm here. Is okay. So let's talk about the whales. I... Warren. And the. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. That's so ironic. Or mine. She just started doing her passive dialogue <laughs> mid conversation. What? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. It's not okay, like Brooke. Um, but right now I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Mac. Maybe I should have asked Warren. Um. I might Miss Grant. Okay. Really? You are good. Um, Nathan is not around. 
Okay. I, go back to Chloe. I feel like I broke her a little bit because she kept saying about what's uh, what's up. Who is that guy? Apparently, a friend of Chloe's. Clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. Yeah, that 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 that's getting a bit creepy. Chloe, that's fine. She's not a student anymore, but I'm still a student. Or well, Max is still a student. I'm not a student. I'm done with that part of my life. It's so lame. They don't have co-ed dorms here. Behave I yourself. Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Chloe's a massive Wait perv, here. apparently. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Bat Max. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Probably the one that's covered in like gold doors and also drugs. It's probably not the one that says the Vortex Club sucks ass. Super Max, in case you still need me, Nathan's your number is one one one. Okay, it's the best. You already are, Rebel. Trust me, and please be careful. Of course, I'll keep you posted. I know you will. Smatter face. So oh, one one Kate one. Brings it. So room one eleven is the magic number. Wait, am I going the? There we go. Ah, uh, that's probably a bit of a giveaway. I swear, if she's in here and Brooke was just giving me shit because I'm going to because Warren has a thing for Kate, not for Brooke. So I can get in, and then rewind to fix the door, right? Uh huh. Now I need to find Nathan's phone, or anything with clues. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, there we go. Cool, that was fine. Uh, Joyce? Oh! If is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much, but that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in the legal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know it happens, so don't bother to defend her or explain. I hoped you would get back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her, unless you both want to play dead. Play bad. Play dead? Whoops. Play bad. But she can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Joyce, even if I get into shenanigans. But I am trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know, Max. I forget you're still teenage adults. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Six grand for a monochrome Best. camera? Is that a lens? I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. Uh. That is so Chloe. Hey asshole, we need to talk, or I'm going to tell everyone what you did, and you're going to pay motherfucker. Oh my god. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. What? I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. Yeah. Some more of Nathan's photos, prescription stuff, that's not surprising. But if I look at it, it might give me an option for later. Has helped Nathan. The alcohol next to it probably doesn't help either. You got a surround sound system? No, just front facing speakers. These films all have a dark pattern. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. I can't tell. I'll take your word for it. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Um... From who? Who's, who's a gift from? Is that... I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. In all fairness, his dad seems to be like at least as much of a dickhead as Nathan. Nathan is way into this party. Okay. Bad sign. So this is... Right, from Nathan to Victoria, I was, I was looking for who it was to, but there it's right there. Hey Gore, just let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as stylish and expensive. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious pate favours. 
was that pate he might mean pate um i even helped my dad to keep the pigs away from blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle if we're going to have an end of the world theme then let's do it fucking on point right is there a bastard now i remember why i hate you and why kate will get justice yeah oh man sean prescott might be nathan's real problem Should... right so nate I know this has been a stressful week, and your mother and I are here to talk if you, if need be. You make an appointment. Just make an appointment any time. Your mother wants Doctor Bill to come out after his book tour, but now let's stick to your prescriptions. So the guy who wrote that book that was on the floor in Nathan's room has connections with Sean Prescott. I need you calm and quiet while Pan Estates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden, and I'll guide you into this room step by step, as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son. Your father. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And Zoom. far away. Little brother, it's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I brag to all my co-workers in the Peace Corps that my talented bro Nate's got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world, even though I can't always check my mail or phone. Please, 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 send me some new photos of campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. I miss you in your pictures. And yes, mother told me you've been in trouble and father has been on your ass, but you you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love dad, Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into just one of the family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I just wanted to make sure you feel at home. Uh back to the mangrove sending out good thoughts better right back or i'll have a jaguar shipped to your dorm chris yes nathan sure needs diet pills this is strong stuff um okay wow kiss ass much principal wells so from principal wells to nathan i'd like to apologize to the recent accusation your name and record speak for itself sometimes students will use that to make that own name at Blackwell. I know your father was upset while I have assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. I don't, oh, so that's okay, that's in regards to that. Okay. Do I have what I need? Is there other things? What the heck? What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Hmm. There's no other sign of. What's that? Oh, Nathan go, Prescott. Jesus. All-American teen. Butts and boobs. Oregon's best boobs. Good job. Good job, Nathan. You're a real class guy. Is it... Did someone Damn, say, just Nathan. do it? That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but... The guy has his own style. Totally not what you should focus on. I can roll. Oh, it's I. So cute mm. and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still <laughs> has it around. <laughs> oh, I think it's a guy watching sports. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh, it was scratch marks from the sofa, not like. Oh, yes, little phone. You are mine now. All right. That's pretty good stuff. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before cool. Now it's open. All right then. I guess I go and find Chloe, and hope no one saw me. Chloe. Damn. Got heck, stuff. Got back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. I had a projector showing black and white Check films with photos of dead birds on his bed. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. Okay. Oh. Whoa. What are you doing in my dorm? We were exploring. You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me hoe. Warren? 
Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> Revenge. You are so fucking dead. Get off me, bro. Warren has had enough. I don't know what to... I mean, he deserves it. If I'm wrong, I'll rewind time. As long as Chloe stays away from that gun. Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker? <laughs> oh, this is so satisfying. Nathan, okay, right, right, okay. Okay, Warren, Warren, that's enough. Warren, that's enough. Okay. Mm. Mm. Please stop! He's down. Hey, come on. Oh, Stop. Chloe. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, we have to go. Oh, Chloe. Who's the bitch now? Chloe! This is going to be a decision I'm going to regret. Oh, God, I think not stopping Warren might have just got Damn, Warren killed. Warren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good. No, I'm going back, no. But scary. I'm going to let Warren... I'm gonna let Warren attack Nathan and get the gun away. I am, uh, I'm not okay with Damn. how far that went. There you go, that one. And Warren, again, if I, it. if this is the worst decision, I can go back and fix it again. Simple as that. Oh, oh my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you, you're all dead. Mm, now Let's Warren. Now. But now Plus, Chloe hasn't got a gun. Dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. I yeah. All things considered, this option Even means Chloe Nathan hasn't got a deserved a beating. Yeah. We should try to be better than that. Hey, but let's face it. We got to see Nathan get beaten up and then rewind the consequences. So all things considered, I think we won um both aspects there. Damn, that was intense. I like Warren. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. <laughs> or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Yeah, Warren, is, is that Bruce Willis in the background? Was that a painting of Bruce Willis? You you better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Cool. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. <laughs> I know. He really did give a serious beatdown to Nathan. It was he, a little he could have given more of a serious beatdown. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Um... But we don't have money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Hey guys, Frankie Jack here. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Life is Strange. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. And if you got any feedback, leave it in the comment section below in the video. Or if you got any feedback in general for the channel, give me a shout on Facebook or on Twitter. Or again, leave it in the comment section for this video. If you want to see more daily content, subscribe to the channel. And have a nice day. See you guys. Bye.